In this video, we present BubbleStreamer, a library and Houdini plugin for bubble simulation based on a practical simulation of dispersed bubble flow, a paper published by Doyub Kim, Oh Young Song, and Hyung Sok Ko in SIGGRAPH 2010. As a teaser result of our implementation, here we show a still of a glass of champagne on a quiet city night. There is a clear need for the simulation of large numbers of small bubbles in fluid simulations for the visual arts. This is useful for improving the visual quality of effects, such as crashing waves, effervescent materials, quenching of hot objects in water, and effects relating to underwater life. This clip from Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo exemplifies one usage of this kind of realistic simulation. Note that, in this example, relatively few bubbles are shown. In reality, many smaller bubbles will be present. Our goal is to fill this need for authors producing creative content. In many situations, convincing simulation requires a large number of bubbles and realistic bubble interaction, including collisions, swirls, and dispersion. Our implementation is based on an existing fluid simulation using a grid-based approach. This simulation is modified to support varying fluid density. Bubbles are simulated individually as particles. The presence of bubbles decreases the effective fluid density of a grid cell. In this way, bubbles can accurately influence the flow of a fluid simulated with grid cells much larger than a single bubble. The flow of individual bubbles is modeled as a stochastic process. Non-deterministic effects are used to model collisions and swirls within the bubble flow. In this demo video produced using our plugin in Houdini, three sources create bubbles inside a champagne glass. The large bubbles emphasize the effects of stochastic interbubble interactions. As the bubbles rise from the bottom of the glass, perturbations are seen in their paths, which convincingly emulate the behavior of real bubbles. Now, we show how a simulation like this one can be created by an artist. First, we create an instance node where bubble geometry will be created. Next, a shape is added to serve as the bubble source. A scatter node is used to spawn bubbles from that source. Each frame, these points are added as bubbles to the simulation. To optionally randomize the sizes of the spawned bubbles, an attribute randomizer node is used. Here, we use a normal distribution of bubble sizes. After this, our bubble streamer node is inserted. This node internally performs the simulation using our library. A guide box is shown at the fluid bounds. Finally, we convert the points produced by the bubble streamer into spheres so that they can be rendered. Depending on the context, these could be rendered as billboards or other primitives. Since spheres are slow to render, we use the point output for viewing in the editor. Here, we show the effect of changing bubble sizes. The dynamics of the simulation are affected by the input from Houdini. To use the final result in a rendering, a volume of liquid material can be placed around the simulation. As in the champagne demo, this doesn't have to match the simulation volume. We would like to thank the authors of the original paper, Doyub Kim for assisting us in reproducing the results, Christopher Batty for the Fluid 3D Library for Grid-Based Fluid Simulation, and Robert Bridson for his book Fluid Simulation in Computer Graphics. Thank you for watching.